my children in the world. Thank you for coming before me this day. Thank you for giving me your whole heart and soul. I love you, beloved children. I adore you. I thank you for all you are doing on the earth for me at this time. You are beautiful in my sight, my holy creation. You are knitted together perfectly, my child. I breathe my life into your flesh. I place you down upon the earth. For such a time as this, my children, for such a time as this, Relax in me this day. Breathe deeply. I want for you to meditate on my holy words, my child. To not just skim over the words in my Bible, but to relax and breathe and read and flourish in my word. To absorb all I am trying to speak with you each day through my Holy Bible. My words of old are living and active, sharper than a double-edged sword. Read them, my children. Let my words flow over your life like a river. My words will change your life. My words have power. Speak them out loud, my children. Declare my words throughout the earth. Remember me this day, my children. I am your Father in heaven, and I love you eternally. Come back to me this day. Come back to your God. If you have wandered away, if you know deep in your heart that you have wandered uh, along the dark path, if you have willfully sinned in my sight, if you are willfully sinning, come back to me this day, my children. I am reaching out my hands and asking you to place your hands in mine. I wish to walk with you on this journey. I promise to never leave you or forsake you, my child. I promise to be there with you right until the end. And I promise to carry you into eternity, into the arms of your God forever. Your life is fleeting, my child. Do not waste any more time, running here and there to and fro. Set your eyes on things which are important, eternal things, the things of heaven, my glory. Feel my presence this day. Stop all that you are doing, relax and feel my love flowing deep within you now. My presence is real and tangible and it is available to all. All who believe in me, who believe in my Holy Son, your Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. He is real, my children. He came to the earth on my behalf to reveal heaven, to reveal me, to die for your sin, the eternal sacrifice for your sin, my child, so that you might be forgiven, healed, set free, washed white as snow in my sight. He is my son and he is eternal. My children, he was raised to eternal life with me, and he is seated in heavenly places. 
and one day he will come to judge the living and the dead. One day you will all return unto him. One day you will all see his face. One day every knee will bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. My son, my beautiful son. He is with me now, my children, in the heavenly realms. You cannot hurt him. You cannot beat him. You cannot nail him to a cross again. He has died once and for all. And he has risen from the grave. He defeated death for you, my children. To show you that life after death is real. That one day you will all rise from the dead. But my children, you must believe in my son. You must bow your knee before him. You must be forgiven of all your sins through his holy blood. He is the sacrificial lamb that was slain. By his death and resurrection, your sins can be washed clean. You can be white as snow. Without this, my child, you still carry your sins and you will carry them right until the end, right until you face me for your final judgment. You will not be white as snow if you have not been cleansed and redeemed and forgiven through my son's death and resurrection. You will be judged for your sins, my child, and the wages of sin is death. Eternal separation from me, your Father in heaven, your Lord Jesus Christ, my blessed Holy Spirit, the whole of heaven, you will be separated. There is a place of darkness, my children, and there is a place of light. We are calling you this day. Do not be foolish in your decision. Do not walk away from your God your Creator, for there is an eternity waiting for you, an eternity in glory, in peace, in rest, in my presence, continually, my child. You will see paradise at your life's end if you recognise that I am your God, that Jesus Christ is my Son, and that you are filled with the Holy Spirit, my spirit, whilst you live upon the earth. That you confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. My child, this has been an eternal truth. Ever since my son came to the earth to warn you. And generation after generation after generation, people have bowed their knee and confessed their sins. And we have come and we have made our home within them. And we have changed them and renewed their mind and transformed them into the image and likeness of Jesus Christ. We want to be one with you, my children on the earth. But you must invite us in to your life, into your temple. So many close the door. So many refuse our ways. So many do not want to believe. So many walk away into the darkness. So many are separated from me in the life hereafter. You must be part of the body of Christ. If you are not part of the body of Christ, then you will be abandoned, my child. I am your God, and this is what I have commanded. This is what is written in my holy word. 
My word does not change my children. I do not change my mind. I am not a man that I should lie to you. Therefore I am coming to you this day with a warning. Repent and be saved, my children. This is not a game. This is not a movie. It is not an accident that you are on the earth right now and this message has come to you. Please share this message with those who do not know me, with your friends, with your family, with those who have never heard my name, who have never bowed their knee, who have never cared to love me, to read my Holy Bible, to worship me in spirit and truth. So many in the world are so blinded to my love and my reality. The veil must be lifted. You must be spiritually awakened, my children. You can walk your whole life and never know me, never see me, never hear my voice, never read my Bible, never worship or praise or feel my presence. You could walk every single day of your life and never even acknowledge that I am there. And so many do. So many do not fulfill the purpose they were created for. For only I will reveal your purpose. When you become awakened, spiritually awakened, your dreams are awakened within you. My dreams for your life. The dreams I have placed within you. Without me, without my help, without my guidance, you are just wandering around in the wilderness. You are lost, you are lonely, you are anxious, you are in despair. You are incomplete. You are empty. So many in the world think they can fill their life by earning money, having a big home, a big car, a fabulous job, more money than their neighbours, their friends. Yet still there is an emptiness inside. My Christians who have been born again are alive in my Holy Spirit. They are filled with my peace but they are also filled with my joy, with my presence, with my hope. Hope of eternal life. Hope of something better than what is on the earth right now. Joy. Joy unspeakable. Oh my children, come into this journey. Become a follower of Christ. You have nothing to lose, my child, but everything to gain. He is the way and he is the truth. He is the life. He is your life. He is the sacrificial lamb. He is the king of heaven. He was with me in the beginning. He is with me now. And he is with you in spirit and truth. Bow your knee before the Saviour. You will not regret it, my child. There is nothing to regret about being born again, born in the Spirit, being spiritually awakened. The greatest thing in life that you can have is a relationship with your Father in Heaven, your God, your Creator. I am an interactive God. I speak to you, my children. I fill you with my I fill you with my glory and my presence and my peace. I protect your days. This world is not all there is, my children. There is so much more. More than you could ever imagine. 
You cannot see it now, my children, but it is there. It exists. I exist. I can speak with you such as this, my child, but you must be spiritually born again. The veil must be lifted. At the moment you are thinking with your physical mind, but there is a spiritual reality, a spiritual thought that you can tap into whilst you live upon the earth. A spiritual awareness and awakening by my Holy Spirit which comes and lives within you. And you will be given more wisdom and knowledge and revelation and understanding than you have ever felt before or known before or experienced in your lifetime. I know all things, my children, and I can reveal to you things. If only you would come to me Bow your knee. Confess that you are a sinner, that you have done wrong in my sight and wish to change. I will change you and transform you. I will heal you. I will deliver you from your addictions. All the sin that binds you, the harmful words you speak over others the things you are doing that you don't want to be doing at this time, but you cannot break free. All the addictions, my children, I can set you free. It's for freedom that Christ came. It's for freedom he came to set you free. What are you waiting for, my child? Your life on the earth is so fleeting. You do not know when it will end. It could end tomorrow, my child. And if you have not repented of your sin, if you have not been born again, filled with my Holy Spirit, then you will enter into a place of darkness. You will be judged for your sin that you are committing today. The sins of your past, every word spoken in haste. But if you confess that Jesus Christ, my Son, is your Lord and Saviour, if you thank him for his death, for all he did for you on the cross, then we promise to forgive you of your sins and help you to change and be transformed and renewed and to walk as if heaven were on earth at this time, to feel safe and secure, whole and complete because we live within you. We dwell within you. Be awakened this day, my children. Be born again of the Holy Spirit. Ask for me to come and dwell within you. I promise I will come. I will not disappoint you. I will never say no to a child who is hungry for me, who thirsts after truth. This is a journey between you and me now, my child. What do you decide to do? Will you walk away from your God again? Or will you come running into my arms this day? I am waiting for you, my child. Do not hesitate. Be with me this day your Father in heaven, come home, in Jesus' name, Amen.